I got some toys to show you. Come down to my sewer, and we'll have fun. <laughs> okay, so these are the action figures for it, the reboot movie, the uh, first part, not the second part. I don't think they're going to make any toys of that, but uh, yeah, I promised to do a video on these when I uh, did my review of the Stranger Things action figures. Um, I probably should have did this a lot sooner, like when the movie came out, but unfortunately I ran into some problems. Uh, for one, I had my microphone go out, so I had to order a new one. And uh, also, I didn't know there were four of these. <laughs> yeah, I thought there were three. Um, the reason why there's four is because they each have a penny wise. Because we needed that. Um, yeah, I think this is a bit excessive. Uh, they could have very easily eliminated like two of the Pennywise's and make this a set of three. I don't know why they, this, uh, this is just too much. I mean, you got four evil clowns. You really want to unleash that upon the world. Anyway, um, let's get into this because, uh, we got a lot to look at. So let me move these out of the way. Um, these are the Funko action figures. Uh, they are exactly the same as the stranger things ones. Uh, as I said in my, uh, Stranger Things video, you can actually still find these in stores, believe it or not, or at least I've seen them in stores. Uh, you can find them at like FYE or uh, Hot Topic, probably Target will still have them. Yeah, it's surprising. Um, they're not bad figures, to be honest. I kind of dig in the uh, detail on Pennywise there. Um, the same thing goes for the Stranger Things figures and a lot of the other ones. And like, I don't know, like, I guess maybe people aren't really that. Oh, geez. That's pretty cool. Oh, hey. Hi there. <laughs> you can see some of the room behind me. Um, yeah, that, that's kind of creepy. I, I kind of like it. Um, yeah, I guess that uh, maybe people don't really uh, like these that much. They just kind of see them as just collectibles. Anyway, let's take a look at Georgie here. Um, head is a little turnt. There we go. Um, very, wow, he's a, he's a little guy, obviously um very tight joints uh, there we go i don't know why you'd want you know too many joints on figures like these it's not like they have like you know vehicles and play sets we're not dealing with hasbro here guys um like the uh like the uh coat he's wearing very nice um likeness on these figures are not perfect obviously they're meant to you know be kind of like the old school kenner action figures which barely look like what they're supposed to um, but it does the job, I suppose. And, uh, we got some accessories here. Look, it's Georgie's boat and it's all taped in. Um, there nothing. Oh, look, there's actually, uh, it says Georgie. Okay. Points for giving a little bit of, uh, a little bit of detail. Um, we're not going to bother with the accessories on this one. Cause we got way too many figures to look at. So let's move along to bill the kind of hero of the uh the movie sort of like one of the one of if not the main child uh very much like the stranger things figures um you can get some better articulation on him got a arm joint like that got a backpack that you can probably remove with enough uh work uh, you know working with it you know knee joint hip joint uh ball joint on the head which is kind of nice i feel like the neck is a little bit elongated um yeah it's uh again it's an all right figure it, it, it gets the job done i feel like maybe these were a little bit too expensive for what they are i think you can buy these individually but i think uh the three packs might have been a bit too much and again you get it, it penny wise in each say you don't really need that um yeah it's okay <laughs> Seems a little bit more generic than the Stranger Things figures, but uh, it's all right. Here we go. We'll put him, we'll put him over here with Georgie, so he can uh, finally protect him. All right, Pennywise, let's have a look at you. Uh, there he is. Look at that face. I'm gonna go ahead and hold on this for a minute for uh, you know all those people that like evil clowns out there. I can see you. All right. Um. He's definitely the better ones of the set because he's got a lot more, a lot more detail, a lot more going. Oh wow, he's got like a spine. Uh, never noticed that. Never seen him from behind. I guess it's kind of interesting. 
Um, yeah, ball joint head, same same old stuff as the other guys. He does have a balloon. We'll we'll actually get this out and give it to him. Cause why not? There we go. Get your balloon. Cause it's your trademark. And uh, oh, it's got a nice little loop there. Let's see if he can. I, and he kicked the camera. Don't kick the camera. I'm trying to run a business here. There we go. It, well, that's actually pretty solid. <laughs> All right. Put it on. Or maybe it works better in the other hand. All right, that's good. There we go. And we can do that thing where he's like behind the balloon. And then he's like, ah, I can see you. Very nice. I really liked the um, the It movies uh the the first one was definitely better the second one was all right but i um and it wasn't as good i think with the kids it was a little bit more uh a little bit more charming so um yeah he's got some uh a lot of frills a lot of textures on him yeah this one's really good uh, i like that if you love yourself some evil clowns then uh you can definitely uh you can definitely get this one i think the face is a little bit off Maybe, again, you know, they're not trying for accuracy here. All right, Pennywise, you go. You stay the hell away from Georgie. We won't let him down this time. All right, next set. <clears throat> this one you get Beverly, Ben, and uh, Surprise, Pennywise, with a... Oh, wow. Look at that. There's your thumbnail right there. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Very nice. It's Pennywise with a different head. Because, yes... Let's get this open. Come on, get it open. There we go. And you get, uh, we can look at the box here. Yeah, it just kind of shows all the uh, sets. Collect them all in in other languages. Um, what year was this? I, I don't remember. The movie came out a while ago. It's like it's one of those things where it was like um, it's like I wow was that long ago? It was like two years ago, I think, as I'm making this. Uh, yeah, so I guess same information as the uh, the Funko. Uh, Stranger Things figures. All right, but oh, oh wow! Did you see that? I he has an arm. Mm. All right, let's look at Ben first. I uh, I gotta say I kind of identified with Ben a little bit. He's got a whoa! Look at that! He's got a wolf on his shirt. I really liked him. He he might have been one of my favorite characters from the movie, and uh, you know he's the he's the big boy who as as a rule does not get the girl except in the second movie spoilers because he lost all the weight and he's successful and yeah uh he's got kind of rosy cheeks there uh backpack again that you can probably take off uh very tight joints on this guy legs don't go up all the way because of his let's just say his shirt uh <laughs> um yeah again not a bad figure Good ball jointed head. They, they do put quite a bit of articulation onto these that probably really don't need articulation. All right, Ben, you go over there. Let's look at Beverly. Another another favorite. Oh, actually, what uh, what accessories do we have here? Ah, the poker. Very nice. That's from the uh, the movie. It can kill monsters if you believe it can. Uh, Bev is uh, looking a little bit uh, definitely off model. <laughs> She looks, uh, she looks like Lucille Ball. <laughs> so I love Lucy. Um, very, very pink shade to her skin. I know she's a redhead. I guess that, well, I guess that makes sense then. Uh, she's got, uh, oh yeah, that key, right? Oh, no, is that the key or uh, what is that around her? Yeah, that's the, was, yeah, that was the key. It's been a while since I've seen the movie. I don't remember what that is. Uh, so yeah, got some articulation ready to fight and stand up to her dad for doing stuff um again not bad not a bad figure got a lot of what what is what is this pattern on her dress what is that let's have a look through the view fine just is that just more keys <laughs> that's weird all right well there's bev uh beverly or yeah you know um yeah, very good. We'll put her right next to Ben and away from Bill, you know, where she belongs. Okay, Pennywise number two, which is um, it's kind of the same as the other one, except for the face. You just got a more, uh, a much more uh, 
thumbnail worthy expression on his face. This is Halloween. It's another reason why I, I waited to do these because you know I'm I'm doing stuff for Halloween. Uh, again, same is exactly the same. Otherwise, just the head, and he has a he has a hand. I don't know whose hand this is, but uh, we'll give it to him. I guess I guess the idea is it's supposed to be he's supposed to be like eating it. So there we, there you go. Let's give him a hand. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Laugh. <laughs> All right, you go next to your twin brother, or perhaps there's like a some kind of illusion where he's cloning himself. All right, so in this one, we got Eddie, the hypochondriac. We got Richie, played by Finn Wolfhart. And surprise, surprise, another Pennywise. That almost rhymed. All right, let's open this one up. Take a look at these boys here. Uh, no extra accessories. We got a bat, which is good. We'll, uh, we'll, 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 we'll actually take this one out so uh, we can have some, some defense against the army of Pennywises we're about to unleash upon the world. There we go. Get it out of the tape. There we go. All right. Let's have a look at Eddie. Eh, I'm out of your package. Um, oh, he's a... Oh, no. The eyes. <laughs> they didn't do a good job on painting his eyes. Uh, he's got the cast for when he broke his leg for the, uh, the loser club. Very nice. Wearing that moniker. Uh, does he... I forget who gets the bat. Eh, we'll give him the bat. He needs he needs the extra... He needs the extra protection anyway. So there we go. There's Eddie. Um, good. Again, nice. It's like they, they do like a lot of good details on these, but then, you know, they're, they're off model. So I guess... Um, sorry. I really liked him in the second movie. Because there was a... There was a lot of like character development for him. A lot, a lot of character development for a couple of the characters that didn't really get a whole lot of screen time, um, especially um, especially Richie, which we'll look at in a minute. But there we go, Loser Club. You can go here and uh, ward off all the germs with your baseball bat. All right, Richie, pop him out of his plastic container. Um, the, oh, glasses are kind of weird. Are those actually like? Oh, they're, yeah, they're like, um, they're like they were uh, molded on or something. No, oh, man, that is strange. <laughs> oh, okay, there he is, head joint. Um, some decent details on a few things here. Uh, yeah, same, same figure. But, as promised, here's uh, <laughs> dueling Finn Wolfhards from alternate realities. There we go. The the uh, the upside down opened up a portal to the Stephen King universe. Um, I don't think I think Stranger Things uh, Finn Wolfhart looks more like Finn Wolfhart. <laughs> this one's a little strange. Like the jaw structure is different. Oh man, it's kind of interesting looking at different interpretations of the same actor in different things. But um, yeah, I don't know which. Which Finn Wolfhart do you prefer, it or Stranger Things? Leave a comment. Uh, there we go. Say say goodbye to your clone. Maybe we'll see him later. All right, Richie, go stand next to Eddie and uh, provide moral support with your jokes and whatnot. All right, Pennywise number three. Uh, this one is like slightly transformed Pennywise. He's got these uh, spider legs. Because, spoilers, he's uh, kind of a giant spider. Well, he's not really a giant spider. It's a whole... It's Stephen King lore, okay? It's like, uh, just just accept it for what it is, you know? Um, this one's pretty cool, though. Got a nice nice expression on his face there. I like that real mean looking. He's showing off them sharp teeth. Let me put these down so we can get a closer look. Yes. There we go. Ah. Uh, all right. So... <laughs> I don't really know what else to say about this. It's it's the same figure with a different face and different arms. Do the arms like do anything? Do they move? Um, and they're just they're they're like slightly articulated. You can do this, and that's about it. So I guess we can uh, see if we can pose him as as like a. There we go. He's he's crawling along on his uh, on his insect legs. Very good. 
All right, final pack. We got uh, Mike Stan and uh, Pennywise again. Wow, this one's weird. We'll look at him in a in a minute. Let's look at the boys first. There we go. And we shall take this out. Let's look at Mike first. Okay, Mike has a pipe and a gun. Was that, oh, was that, that was like a flare gun or something, wasn't it? I, I don't remember. It's been a while since I've seen the first one. As much as I like it, I'll, some, some, you know, information doesn't retain. There we go. Oh, he was kind of stuck in there. Got his, uh, his ba uh, bandolier right there. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's hard for me to come up with, <laughs> with new things to say about these. Cause they're, they're all basically this, well, he's got actually, like nice, nicer joints, looser, I guess. Hopefully, it doesn't uh, mess up his uh, his standability. All right, let's take out some weapons again, so we can defend against the army of clowns. Uh, since he's got the bandolier, I'm assuming he gets the gun. So let's give him the gun. There we go. All right, maybe the other hand. Perhaps he was left-handed, and I don't remember. There we go. Uh, we'll just say it's a, a flare gun. Kind of looks like a Star Wars blaster, which would be appropriate considering these are, you know, from, uh, they're supposed to be based off of Kenner action figures. All right. Now for Stan. Ah, oh, poor Stan. Uh, the little Jewish boy from the first movie, uh, who, in my opinion, had to deal with the worst thing out of the entire franchise, that freaking painting. That thing was scarier than Pennywise. That was that was the freakiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, okay, I exaggerate a little bit, but anyway, we'll uh, we'll give him the pipe so he can fend off the the creepy painting monster. If you've not seen the movie, I'll I'll try and dig up a picture or something. If not, uh, watch the movie. It's still pretty good. All right, hold your hold your pipe. You got a evil clown to fight, whether you like it or not. Okay, well. Um, can we do we have everybody in shot here let me let me just organize a bit so we can get everybody in shot just put them there we'll, we're setting up our 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 tabletop rpl put we'll put georgie in the back so he doesn't get hurt again there we go defend him defend him this time damn it richie stand up i know you're afraid of clowns but come on stand up stand up Stand up. Yeah, I'm noticing he's got a little. Uh, uh, his feet are a little bit warped. All right, we'll put we'll put you here, and then we'll put. Uh, let me fix Richie so he can stand up. There we go. Okay, should be good now. Should be good now. Look, I know you're. I know you're like the jokester and prankster and whatever. And you, you're a smart ass, but I'm trying to do a show here. Stop embarrassing me. All right. So now we have this Pennywise, which is like, he's, he's got his like hair down or like, what is, what is this from? I genuinely don't remember. It looks like he's in a shampoo commercial. <laughs> Maybe I'm born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. You know, you spend a lot of time in the sewer. You got, you got a condition, you know, it's, it's damp down there. Really does a number on your your hair, and uh, I guess you you get endorsements because you're a famous character. Yeah. Um, head a surprising amount of movability though. That looks like someone else. This was probably like a specific thing from the movie, and I don't remember. Again, it's been a while, but um, there we go. There's um, there's Pennywise and Pennywise and the other Pennywise and uh, the kids from it facing off i guess because you know the <laughs> it, but oh no it's the demogorgon from from stranger things it's come to join in the fight oh no oh his leg fell off oh no his leg actually broke i think oh no it didn't never mind it just it was just it's just cheap <laughs> there we go it's the demogorgon oh no He's joined forces with Pennywise, but don't worry. We brought in the Stranger Things kids from the Stranger Things Netflix universe to help out. 
There we go. There's Dustin. Will is there also. He didn't get sucked in this time. And there's uh, here's Lucas with his slingshot. And in my video with these uh, figures, I accidentally, I, I didn't, I didn't realize that that was him. That that was his. It had been a while since I've seen the show, so uh, you know I forgot that he was the one with the slingshot. But there we go. He has it now, and he's uh, he's joining in with the fight. He's gonna fling rocks at Pennywise, and that'll stop him. And of course, we can't forget Eleven, who will force choke all the clowns there we go yes see there we go yeah there we go all right now our 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 epic battle is ready <laughs> uh this is how i like my content 80s kids versus 80s monsters even though this is not you know actually from the 80s they just take place in the 80s but it's okay the 80s uh, the 80s is inside man it's a it's a state of mind it's a philosophy it's a way of life you don't have to be from the 80s to be 80s so live life how you want anyway um those are the it and i guess the stranger things action figures from funko they're not bad figures they're just kind of all right um little little high for what they are i think a little 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 bit expensive but uh they're not bad if you're you know a fan of whatever they're making the figures of uh you know you can do a lot worse i suppose although the, again just like with the stranger things figures they make um large you know more detailed more poseable ones i believe uh, mcfarland makes those and uh you might be better off getting those i don't know but um yeah that's uh that's the it figures there's really not much else to say about them they're all right i suppose uh, the, the, the Funko figures are like starting to, you know, uh, you know, appeal to me a little bit more, but, um, I'm not in a hurry to collect a whole bunch of them. I have all these now and that's all you really need. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, check out my other videos and I'm going to have more Halloween videos coming out. So, uh, look out for those and, uh, don't talk to any strange clowns. Because it never ends well.